How does computerized tomography work? In this video, we will explore the breakdown of computerized tomography into four steps. Computerized tomography, CT, or computerized axial tomography, CAT, is one of the many useful biomedical imaging tools such as ultrasound and MRI that is used today. Computerized tomography uses an X-ray apparatus to create a set of scans or detailed pictures of areas inside the object that is imaging. However, there is currently a disconnect between the practice and the math behind computerized tomography. You may be able to walk up to someone and ask them if they have ever heard of a CAT scanner or X-rays and get a positive response, but it is highly unlikely that they would be able to briefly explain the math behind it. How are we able to place an object into a machine and generate images that show below its surface? First, we shoot rays through the object from the source and measure the absorption using a detector. Then, we find the total absorption of each ray that passes through the object. Next, we use polar coordinates to assign the total absorption to each ray to the location of the ray relative to the center of the object and graph them to compose a sinogram. Lastly, we reconstruct the image using filtered back projection to get a clear image of the object. The first part of computerized tomography is to assess the object. This is done through placing the object within x-ray equipment that will emit rays through the object. The first job of the rays emitted through the object is to detect and measure absorption. The object will absorb some of the radiation and the rest will pass through the object and be measured by the detector. More rays emitted through the object at different angles means more information. More information yields a more detailed image. After the absorption is measured and detected for each ray, the total absorption must be calculated in order to assign the absorption intensity to each ray. Two methods to find this calculation includes adding the absorption manually as it varies throughout the ray's path or to use radon transform. Since manual summation is the tedious drawn out method, Radon transform is the more common route used to do these calculations. Radon transform is an integral transform over straight lines that analyzes a function for absorption. After calculating the total absorption of the rays passing through the object, the polar coordinates of the absorption is found. The first step in completing this process is converting the traditional x and y coordinate system into another system using rho and theta through a simple conversion factor where rho will approximate the distance from the center of the object and theta will represent the angle made between the positive x-axis and the circumference of the object. The polar coordinate system will allocate the location for each ray. Now that the ray's locations are mapped out, the total absorptions are graphed on the polar coordinate system relative to the angle of the ray and the distance of the ray from the center of the object. This graph is known as the sinogram of the object. The sinogram does not reconstruct the image but merely graphs the pixel intensity for each ray at a given location relative to the center of the object. This means that the information has to be somehow related to the actual geometry of the object. To accomplish this, the information from the rays that were analyzed are projected back on the plane relative to their angles using the inverse radon transform. The following images are of a Clemson tiger paw that were run through a radon transform simulator in MATLAB. The first is of the original image, the second is of the sinogram of the image constructed from radon transform and polar coordinates, and the third is the image reconstructed from inverse radon transform using filtered back projection. This simulation demonstrates the reconstruction of an image using computerized tomography. The following acknowledgments are for the National Science Foundation for not only funding the Creative Inquiry course Mathematical Applications of Biomedical Imaging, but for all of the courses pertaining to the modules of Calculus Concepts in Biomedicine that are working relentlessly to connect mathematics to the workforce and allowing this connection to be accessible by all through courses and computer applications. The Clemson University Creative Inquiry Program for making student-led courses available and giving students the platform to ask questions and seek answers. The Clemson University Mathematical Sciences Department and faculty for working to make this program possible through hard work as teachers and mentors to students. Thank you.